Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this collab, we will implement multi-class MNIST digit recognition classifier with SVMs. We begin by importing basic libraries like pandas, matplotlib, cborn, numpy, then pandas.plotting, sklearn.preprocessing, and model selection. We also import libraries for performing classification, such as sklearn.svm from that library or from that module we import SPC API. We also have a bunch of imports from sklearn metrics to obtain the classification report and confusion metrics. From model selection, we have imported crossval score, grid search CV, and stratified shuffle split. We begin by loading MNIST dataset. This time we use keras.dataset utility MNIST to load the data. So we call MNIST.loadData and that returns the, the training feature matrix and training label vector along with test feature matrix and test label vector. So training data contains 60,000 images and each image is 28 cross 28. In the test data, we have 10,000 images again with the same dimension, which is 28 cross 28. And the label vectors have 60,000 examples in the training and 10,000 examples in the test. We'll plot some of the data samples. So you can see image corresponding to digits along with their label. So this is the image for digit 5 and the label is 5. So the first step which flatten each input image into a vector of line 784. So we reshape the, the training feature matrix or training feature tensor with the shape 60,000 by 784. And the test tensor is reshaped to 10,000 by 784. Then we, then we normalize the training feature matrix and a test feature matrix by dividing each value in it by 255. So you can see that the shape of the training data after flattening is 60,000 by 784 and the shape of the test data after flattening is 10,000 by 784. In order to run these experiments quickly, we consider first 10,000 images as training set and the first 2000 images in the test set as test. You can rerun this collab by taking the full training and full test data. So we have 10,000 examples in the training and 2000 examples in the test. Now what we do is we will first use linear SVM for MNIST multi-class classification. So here we define a pipeline which first perform feature scaling with min max scalar and in the second step we have got SVC SVM classifier. We use linear kernel with the value of C set to 1. We train the pipeline with the training feature matrix and training label vector. We evaluate the model with cross validation score. So here we obtain the training accuracy of 91.07. Let us visualize the confusion matrix on the test set. So for that, we first obtain the prediction on the test set and then we get the confusion matrix by comparing the predicted label with the actual labels. Then we display the confusion matrix with, with confusion matrix display utility. So this is the confusion matrix on the test set. We also obtain classification report that will give us precision, recall, F1 score and accuracy for the test set. So here you can see that each row has precision, recall and F1 score for each class label. So for example, for zero, the class label 0, we have precision of 0.91, recall of 0.96 and F1 score of 0.94. So for example, for label 5, we have precision of 0 
recall of 0.85 and f1 score of 0.87 so the overall accuracy is 0 0.90 now what we'll do is we'll also use nonlinear svm for this multi class classification problem so here for nonlinear svm we use rbf kernel along with the value of gamma equal to 0.1 and value of c equal to 1 we again implement svm with svc here the pipeline contains the feature scaling followed by svc implementing svm classifier we train the pipeline with the training feature matrix and training label label vector we evaluate the model with cross val score and we obtain the training accuracy of 82.87 let us visualize a confusion matrix on the test set so you can see that we have obtained quite low accuracy on the training set itself so we expect the confusion matrix to contain a lot more confusion than the earlier confusion matrix so here you can see that the the labels which are 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 they are getting misclassified as 2 and that number is quite significant over here in this confusion matrix so the poor performance of the classifier here is reflected in the classification report the overall accuracy has dropped to 0.85 from 0.90 so some of the worst predicted classes are like label 2 which has got precision of 0.47 recall of 0.99 and f1 score of 0.63 again 0 is classified fairly accurately with f1 score of 0.94 this performance can be fixed by performing a grid search over the parameter of the kernel estimator that we are using we can adjust c which controls the margin hardness and gamma that controls the size of radial basis function kernel so here what we do is we use the standard scalar as a scaling function and then use an SVC with kernel equal to RBF we also define a parameter grid containing the value of gamma and the values of C so here we have defined a parameter grid for values of C and for values of gamma and then we have set up the parameter grid as a dictionary for the values of gamma and value of c then we use stratified shuffle split as a way of performing cross validation then we instantiate a grid cv object with the svc estimator and the parameter grid set to the parameter grid that is instantiated over here along with stratified shuffle split cross validation we call the fit function on grid search cv with train feature matrix and train label vector the best parameters uh, can be obtained by accessing best underscore param underscore member variable of the grid grid search cv object and the best score is obtained with best underscore score underscore member variable of the grid search cv object so this particular piece of code takes quite a long time to run so as an exercise i would request you to run this code and also plot the confusion matrix and get the classification report on the test set then compare the results of this grid search cv estimator with the vanilla svc estimator with rbf kernel in this collab we implemented mnist multi-class classifier with support vector machine now you have one more tool in your toolkit to implement classifiers which is using svm in sklearn